Good morning, this is Angela with Park Rose Permaculture. We're having an unseasonably cool summer. It is overcast and windy and I kind of want a sweater this morning. I've been out here doing chop and drop because I'm having a lot of plants overgrow the path or plants that are in need of cutting back now that it's July. And while I was up here, I wanted to share with you one of my favorite trees for a small garden space. If you have a large garden, you can obviously grow this as well, um, but it really works well in a small garden. If you want one or two fruit trees, this is one of the ones I think you should include. So let's go in and look at it. So first of all, I'm in my, my front yard here. Um, and this is an area where I originally had all annual beds and what I have done as I've had money and time is I've slowly transitioned these beds to fruit guilds that are centered around a dominant fruit tree and uh, ringed with support species. So this bed right here, because the fruit tree I'm going to talk about is young, I'm still growing annuals in this bed. I have tomatoes and squash and herbs and I also have some um, cut and come again uh, greens for my chickens. And as this tree gets a little larger, I think this will become more and more perennial as um, it shades this space. So thinking about succession, this tree is still small, so I still have room to grow tomatoes and things like that. So the tree I want to talk about is this right here. It is Nikita's Gift Persimmon, and it is a hybrid persimmon that is a cross between the American persimmon and the Asian persimmon. So American persimmons get very large. I don't have room for one in my yard. They are an astringent persimmon with a really good flavor, a small persimmon. And they obviously grow wild and are a great foraging plant in much of the United States and Canada. But not everybody has room for one and they aren't to everybody's liking. Asian persimmons, of which I have a fuyu in the backyard, Asian persimmons um, are a little less cold hardy and therefore not not good for every gardener as well. So this is a hybrid. It was developed in Ukraine and it has some of the properties of both an American persimmon and an Asian persimmon. So it is slow growing like an Asian persimmon. So it is again, I think about five years old and we're looking at maybe four feet tall here. Early on after I got this tree, the leader broke. And so now it is kind of having this more bushy habit, which is okay for me in this spot. But this tree does get 10 to 12 feet at maturity. And the reason that I think it is such a good tree for a small garden is that it is compact. So my Fuyu in the backyard, you're looking at a 15 to 20 foot tree. An American persimmon, you're looking at a tree that is well over 20 feet tall. This tops out at 10 to 12, so it has a natural dwarfing habit. Like any of the persimmons, it has these lovely glossy leaves that are a nice dark emerald color, really pretty leaves. So it has that curb appeal. In the fall, the leaves turn vibrant orangey red. Again, more curb appeal if you want something to grow in your front yard. Nikita's gift is self-fertile, so you only need the one tree. And again, because it tops out at 10 to 12 feet, you can reach all of the fruit from the ground. So what does this tree need to grow? You can see here it is laden with young persimmons. I find that when it's young, it can be so overburdened. I don't know if that's exactly the right word, but so lush with persimmons. Here you can see just tons and tons and tons of babies on it. Persimmon fruit hang off the underside of the branch. And as they mature, you can see here, it might need a little thinning by you or it might need a stake here to help support the branch. So when it is young and it has that heavy fruit set, you might consider propping it up so that you don't get branch breakage. It likes full sun. This tree is hardy in zones five through nine. Now, when you look at a Asian persimmon, 
it's not going to be zo hardy in zone five and six and this persimmon is now if you have a really significant stretch of cold weather in zone five you might want to cover this tree with some sheets just give it a little a little extra a little extra protection but i have seen in gardening forums several people who grow this in zone five with success now um your persimmon is going to want a nice rich humus and it benefits greatly from a good layer of mulch so I don't in any way water this plant I have a strict policy of my fruit trees have to be able to take care of themselves so it gets bucket watered for the first two years it gets one deep heavy drink a week of a five gallon bucket and other than that I don't water it but it does like a good thick layer of mulch it does well with uh, companion planting and green manure and cover cropping around the base of it. So it is a semi astringent persimmon. So what you're looking for in this plant, when you, how do you know when to harvest the fruit? I'm going to do a video in November when this fruit is ready to harvest, but you are looking for a texture like a ripe tomato. So it's soft, unlike the fuyu persimmon, which can be eaten when it is firm, like an apple, almost crisp, this is a semi-astringent persimmon and it needs to soften or you're not going to, going to enjoy eating it. It will be like eating an underripe apple. It will suck all the saliva out of your mouth and it will not be a good experience. So you wanna let this get soft, at least like a ripe tomato. If you let it get really soft and jelly-like, it's fantastic eaten with a spoon. It tastes like brown sugar. And if you want to freeze the pulp of this it freezes really nicely and i find that i really like it in bundt cakes or quick breads or um, other recipes where you might use applesauce or mashed bananas you can use the pulp of the persimmon and it provides a fantastic sweetness and really complex flavor to baked goods these are also good persimmons for drying they um, don't have the kind of um, acidity that you're used to with a lot of fruits so persimmons are just very sweet and like a fig in that in that regard they're very very sweet so you can reduce the sugar you need in a recipe when you cook with them so that's a little look at Nikita's gift persimmon I got this at one green world it's a hybrid persimmon so you get a little bit of the increased hardiness like an American persimmon, but you get the large size and less astringent quality of an Asian persimmon. Good flavor profile, really, really heavy fruit set. I find um, it can be prone to setting fruit more heavily every other year. So you'll get like a, a medium crop one year and then a gangbuster crop the next year. But again, this is a great fruit for freezing and drying so it's a good one to preserve and they will keep if you store them carefully uh, wrapped and in single layers they'll store for a while on your kitchen counter or in the refrigerator they'll store for weeks and weeks so anyway um hope that helped y'all if you're looking for that one dwarf fruit tree that's a great specimen in your garden you cannot go wrong with nikita's gift persimmon if you are in zones five through nine Hope this video was helpful and I'll be back tomorrow. If you get something out of these videos, please consider subscribing to my channel and please consider throwing a couple bucks at my PayPal, which is in the comments so I can keep making videos. Um, that would be, that would be awesome. So, all right, I'll be back.